please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning and welcome to The Morning Show. Today is Wednesday, September 11th, 2019, and an A-Day. Good morning, I'm Luke. Good morning, I'm Maggie. Good morning, I'm Brendan. The five-hour class will be held Tuesday, September 17th at Schrader High School, room E3. The class runs from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. The cost is $52, and you can register online at websterscentral.revtrack.net. Please make sure to bring your permit to class. Interested in joining a club this year? Make sure you check out the annual Schrader Club and Activity Fair on Thursday, September 12th during your lunch period. It's a great way to try something new, meet new people, strengthen or expand your interests, interests, help your community, and even enhance that college application. See you on Thursday. All singers, come audition for acapellas and or jazz choir after school starting at 3.20 on Tuesday, September 17th and Wednesday, September 18th in N2, Ms. Zugelder's room. Acapellas is an all-female acapella group that performs contemporary pop music from your favorite artists like Ariana Grande and Andra Day. They meet Tuesdays before school. Jazz Choir is a mixed vocal group that performs jazz music in an array of forms. They meet Thursdays before school. For either auditions, please prepare one minute of your favorite pop song that showcases your voice that you will perform a cappella. On Friday the 20th, we will post the ensemble list and we will begin rehearsals the week of the 23rd. There's a sign-up sheet outside of Ms. Zugalder's room. That's it for me, and now over to Brendan. Thank you, Maggie. Have you ever dreamed of traveling to Peru and exploring Machu Picchu and connecting with students in another country to learn about their day-to-day -day life? If so, then join Madame Rayton and Senora Hall on a trip to Peru during February break of 2020. Your time on this trip will also qualify for service hours and will stand out on college applications. Stay tuned for more information on a meeting day and time. Freshmen interested in running for class officers, please stop and see Mr. Gomez or Ms. Lawton and let them know. Be the change you want to see. Attention juniors, the practice SAT is coming up on Saturday, October 19th. Please get a sign up form from the Counseling Center bulletin board or download it from the Schrader Counseling Center website. That's it for me and now over to Luke. Thank you, Brendan. Are you interested in taking pictures? Do you like graphic design? Do you like attending school events? Do you like seeing a project through to the end? Then yearbook may be for you. There will be informational meeting for yearbook on Thursday in Ms. Metz room E21 after school. If you cannot make it but are interested, stop down and see Ms. Metz or Ms. Woodward during a free period. Hope to see you there. Congratulations to the girls and boys cross country teams on their performances yesterday. The girls defeated Spencerport and Arondequait and lost a tough Fairport squad. The boys run, ran hard but came up winless. The top five runners for the girls were Sophia Magnera, Sierra Duty, Leah Gould, Maddie Eugene, and Shelby Boise. The top five runners for the boys were John Sulo, Patrick Morissetti, Nick Dugan, Matt Morrison, and Tyler Petrillo. Well done to all the athletes that ran. If you enjoy solving challenging math problems, you may be interested in Math League. Check out the Google Classroom for the schedule and application. The join code is FPPH52. Come to our informational meeting in E4 after school on Tuesday, the 17th of September. Trader's speech and debate team is looking for new members. This is a competitive and intellectually based activity packed with comedy, drama, and yelling at boys from McQuaid. Speech and debate employs you with valuable life skills. Today's speaker of the day is Steve Buscemi, who competed against future co-stars in high school speech tournaments. We meet Mondays right after school in Ms. Ham's room, W15. If you are hungry after school tomorrow, please stop by Moe's between 4 and 8 p.m. The Hope Climate Movement is having a fundraiser. Thank you for your support. That's it for me today, and now over to Mr. Kalalori. Good morning. My name is Mr. Kalalori, and I teach humanities and United States history. Today, I would like you to join me in remembering the events of 18 years ago. On September 11, 2001, 2,977 people lost their lives to terrorist attacks at the World Trade Center Towers, the Pentagon, and aboard Flight 93. These losses mark the most devastating terrorist attacks the world has ever experienced. As Governor Cuomo reminded us this week, we must never forget not just the pain of the moment, but of the courage, sacrifice, and outpouring of love that defined our response in the days that followed. Please join me in a moment of silence in honor of the lives lost on that tragic day.
Thank you. For the last 10 years, September 11th has been designated as the National Day of Service and Remembrance and is a challenge to all Americans to do at least one good deed. We do this to remember not only the loss of life, but also the heroic actions of the first responders and recovery workers, police officers and firefighters, public safety officers and EMTs, and the men and women in the armed forces who risk their safety in service of others. Honoring this moment in our nation's history by serving in our community helps transform 9-11 into a day of unity, empathy, and service. Today, our service activities and charitable actions can and will spark a unity in America, New York, and even in Webster. Let's turn tragedy into triumph, view each other as neighbors, not as strangers, and recognize the power of working together as one community. Please honor this memory and support hashtag 9-11 day. Every good deed counts. Go make the world a better place, warriors. Have a great day.